Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. It's the third day of Christmas. So excited. Everything I showed today will be $3. And guys, I need to say one thing. Um, I kept saying that I'm going to do purses tomorrow. That is absolutely not true. It's Thanksgiving. So actually, today is going to be my last video for this week. And I have four days off, literally off. I put a message on Boring Jobs uh, voicemail. And I don't have any jewelry things to do after I talk to you guys tonight. So, so exciting. It's been a while since I had like everything off. Um, so anyway, so today's the last video, third day of Christmas. Um, we'll get to purses next week. And let me show you this. If you'd like to purchase anything, you can pause the video here and I'll tell you exactly what you need to do. I have been invoicing Tuesday evenings. Okay. So third day of Christmas. I'm so excited. You guys really seem to be enjoying the 12 days of Christmas. I heard from bunches of you and um, I love that. I'm so excited that you're enjoying it because that makes me happy. Um, last year, my nephew Nate actually came up with the idea to do it this way. So um, yeah, so I'm glad you're liking it. So everything today, like I said, three bucks, okay? I didn't feel like testing things that I wasn't sure about like this. I don't think this is sterling. Um, but I guess maybe it could be. So, um, yeah, here you go. $3. <laughs> okay. I have a Siam pin with enamel. This is vintage, a little bit dirty, needs a wipe down. It's in pretty good shape considering, um, yeah, not horrible. I would say there's some, oh, there's some, oh no, those are shoes. We're good. We're good. I think those are shoes. Are those shoes, sir? No, enamel's missing here and here. Okay, so let's just make him two bucks. Um, okay, here we go. We have a gold tone faux pearl brooch. Here it is, and that one's gonna be, guess what, three bucks. So I made my cheesecake, you guys. It is cooling. I'm filming slightly late because of that. So hopefully YouTube does not give me a hard time and uploads quickly. Gold tone leaf brooch looks to be in perfect condition. $3. And then I have to go downstairs and put together a couple side dishes. So the only thing I'll have to do in the morning is uh, help Nate with his Mexican street corn and do the mashed potatoes and then cook off the other things. So... I'm so excited. It's going to be a little bit easier. Avon, um, this is like an antique gold tone and a gold tone chain. If you need measurements, let me know. I'm not going to really measure today. $3. That way we can get through more. So um, today and probably through the fourth day of Christmas, um, all the stuff, uh, most of the stuff is just clearance. All of the stuff. Oh, look, that says 95. I don't know if it's true or not. It's giving me 925 feels now that I'm under the light. All right, well, it's only gonna be three dollars. There you go. Pretty little chain and CZs, three bucks. So, um, I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know what I was saying. Here we go. We're supposed to get snow here tomorrow. So we have a little bit of like faux abalone. It's really like resin, gold tone, hook style, three dollars. Oh, I know what I was saying. So um, up until like half of the fourth day, okay, I keep saying this dumb, sillyly, sillyly. <laughs> um, through the fourth day of Christmas, everything's gonna be clearance. And then after that, you'll kind of see a mixture. Okay, that's what I wanted to say. Gold tone and little dangles on it. This is a uh, pendant, $3. That's fun. Okay, we have a single earring. Oh, Okay, we have, this is probably gold filled, is it? No, not gold filled. Um, little brooch, gold tone, faux pearl. Um, nope, that's not where. Just wanted to double check. Okay, $3. That's a little vintage baby. I'm in brooch-ville. A little enamel flower brooch. That one's pretty. Gold tone, not signed. $3. Nate has been doing um, shipping today and his wife Kenzie is here and she has been organizing um, in the shipping room because I've got a big delivery of boxes from my friend Linda. She saves boxes for me from her work and from her 
and and packing supplies and when she comes it's like this a big deluge that's a good word of boxes and from mom moving I have boxes so it was a lot to clean up but I appreciate it so much thank you Linda uh, Sarah Cov Silver Tone Clip Earrings. They look perfect. $3. Uh, what's this? Another brooch. Kind of modern-ish. It's, you know what? It doesn't feel good. It might just need a wipe down, but let's just do it for a dollar. Gold tone. Oh, this way. Okay. One dollar. It's like not shiny anymore, and it might be fine if you clean it, but I'm not positive. Oh, look at Look at our first house, yay! Or our home is filled with love. Okay, um, $3, looks to be in good shape. And okay, I have this, this has a little bit of wear on it. Um, and this is Python leather, uh, made in Italy. It's a little bracelet. Um, it's one of the like, kind that you kind of press to open. Um, a little bit aware. This is actually an expensive piece, believe it or not. It's a size seven and it's just going to be $3. Let's see if it will go in the little bin. Um, I'll put it in the big bin. Come over here, friend. Okay. I have this little bracelet it has studs, silver tone, cuff style and thread wrapped around. And I think it's still on dot. Yep. It's still on dot. I should have made this one more money, but that's okay. Uh, it's a seven, you guys. Three bucks. I shoulda, shoulda made it more money. Uh, single earring. I have a gold tone and pearl brooch. Checking if it's gold filled. Oh, it might be gold filled. No, those aren't. Are those words? Yeah, gold filled. Hold on. Where did it go? Guys, am I looking at the wrong side? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't say gold filled, but I think it did say something. Maybe it did say gold filled. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so little brooch, three bucks. And I have these post style earrings. They are gold tone and enamel. I like the colors. Look at pretty. Uh, $3. They look to be in nice condition. Only one backing. Okay. Um, we have an acrylic necklace. It has some marbling in the acrylic. Fun. Gold tone beads. It is vintage. It looks like... Okay, that's not vertigree. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. Uh, $3. I have a Alex and Ani style. I can't remember what this is again, but I don't know if it was anything. Um, it was, but the palm tree and the little paw print, silver tone. It's the style. Uh, maybe slight, slight wear. This is that button thing that where you can take this off and change it. It's like a snap, I mean. Uh, $3. Anybody going out shopping in the stores on Black Friday? Curious. I did years ago in like 1998. <laughs> I got my first computer, you guys. Best Buy Black Friday sale. <laughs> um, it is copper tone and glass and acrylic and $3. That's a fun little bracelet. And then probably like five or six years ago, um, I went out kind of late with my niece and we did Michael's and guys, the funniest story. So Nate and my niece were here staying and um, <laughs> this is Born to Shop. It's a brass tone. It's, uh, is it really Alex and Ani? I don't think so. I don't think it's Alex and I. $3. So they were both staying here. Um, when they were younger, there was usually someone staying here. Uh, enamel and a little birdie pin. It's got a little wear on the back. $3. So I said to my niece, CJ, she likes to be called Thea now. Sorry, Thea. I said, let's go to Michael's. Let's do Black Friday. It was late. It was like 9 o'clock and they were staying open late. Gold tone, little seashell necklace, $3. 
So um, she's like, okay. And I'm like, well, go ask Nate if he wants to come. And she's like, okay. And um, she runs upstairs and she's like, he's sleeping. He doesn't want to come. And I'm like, okay. Uh, Avon, silver tone, clip earrings, $3. So CJ and I go and literally anything that looked remotely interesting, we stuck in the cart and bought and it was crazy. Okay. It was crazy. I spent too much money, but it was so much fun. And she talks about it all the time and it was just awesome. So I've got this little like brass tone, like deer stag pin. Oh, it's an elk. Is this for the elks? Probably for the elks. Uh, this part's silver tone, three bucks. Um, so anyway, we get home and Nate is like waiting for us to come in. He's like, what the heck, you guys? You just leave me behind? And I'm like, CJ said you were sleeping and you didn't want to go. And CJ like was like, oh, it started like kind of cracking up, like hiding her face. She never asked him because she wanted to go <laughs> without him. <laughs> Gold tone, light scratching clips. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, Nate. I didn't know. <laughs> Three dollars. Oh. So we left poor Nate behind. We did bring him some things, though. <laughs> Gold tone has a monogram on it. Faux pearl. Cute little bracelet. Looks to be vintage. It's a seven. Let's do three dollars. I feel my watch buzzing me. Okay, uh, post style earrings. Okay, and that has a little piece of acrylic there. Some light scratching. I'm just gonna do $2 on those. Oh my goodness, we already finished the bin. We are moving right along, my friends. Moving right along. Okay. So, anyway, the reason I'm bringing that up is I am tempted to do Michael's late night again. It was kind of fun, but I'll have to behave. <laughs> uh, little glass earrings. These might be sterling. It was another set that I wasn't positive on. Uh, $3. Okay, what have we got here? So we have this bracelet here, faux pearl, some acrylic, some dangles. Um... It's not bright silver tone anymore, so just be aware of that. This one is a size, ooh, she's little. It's like a six and a quarter, okay? Three dollars. And we have this one, Alex and Ani style, except a round shape. Does Alex and Ani do, yeah, they do oval and round, duh. And it has a little heart and these little dangles. I think these are glass. $3. And I have these gold tone earrings. Go gold tone faux pearl earrings. $3. They look to be in really nice shape. And what's next? I have a silver tone ring. This is another one. I don't remember if it was sterling, you guys. Um, it's really fun. Little ring that would be good for stacking if you wanted to. Coming in at a nine and a quarter and three bucks. Okay. I have a cloisonne earrings. Um, they are a brass tone. The brass is a little, it's not worn, it's patinaed, okay? So cloisonne post style earrings, $3. Uh, gold tone, little bib necklace, uh, gold tone, Rolo chain attached to it. Um, it's not, there's not really wear. It's just kind of antique dish a little. $3. Okay, next, gold tone brooch that's going to stick me. There we go. In great condition, not signed, 3 bucks. Another brooch. Oh, two birch. Uh, yeah, two birches. Uh, gold tone. Actually, I think they meant it to go this way. Gold tone, not signed. Three dollars. And then I have an M. 
I guess you could probably wear it as a W or an M. $3. Not signed, I don't... Oh, it is signed. Sorry, my bad. It is... Manzel? Mamsel. Mamsel. I don't remember checking the price on that. I mean, I did, but I don't remember. Okay, so this is probably gold filled, and that's a piece of coral there. And I'm not sure if it's real coral or plastic. So there it is. Take a good look. It's got some like darkening there. It probably would clean off. $3. Uh, okay, what have we got here? Okay, that definitely was added later some weird coloring to it oh no it wasn't i'm making that up okay so it was supposed to be gold tone that's why it looks differently it's all gone from the back of the neck piece acrylic um yeah and down here again same thing so this is just going to be a dollar one dollar uh, enamel earrings they are gold tone and they are clippies flowers Faux cloisonne there, uh, $3, or would you just call that cloisonne? I don't know, brain's not working. I'm in vacation mode. <laughs> um, we should be getting the rest of our mudroom done, except the closet organizers, because the closet is going to kind of be multifunction. It's going to be like my coat closet with my boots, because my coat closet's on the opposite wall as my bedroom closet, so it's going to get swapped so I can have a bigger closet in my bedroom. And it's gonna be a coat closet. It's gonna have the dog food pull out so I can feed out there. Enamel, gold tone earrings. Those are just gonna be a dollar. Posts, one dollar. It's gonna be storage for the water, the five gallon water machine thingies. Are they five gallons? I think they're five gallons. Um, and what else? Oh, our little mop thing that we have. I don't know. So besides organizing the closet, everything else will be done. Uh, gold tone enamel posts. They appear to be in great shape. $3. We'll be done over the vacation here. Um, gold tone. Those are little like heart shapes. Okay. I would say some light wear. Very, very, very light. Oh, hold on. There's no clasp, it broke. So you would need a clasp, you guys, okay? Is this sterling? Is this for May? It might be, guys. <laughs> it might be for May, but you need a clasp. Three bucks. Okay, I have this little stick pin. It's a clatta, it's gold tone, $3. Next, I have gold tone and enamel. Single earrings. They're flowers. Here we go. Gorgeous. Three dollars. And I have this gold tone brooch with a faux pearl. I'm seeing a teeny scratch right there. Oh, look at how dry. Ay, ay. <laughs> I put lotion on. It must have really gone in. It's winter. It happens. I got eczema starting. It happens. Three bucks. Uh, this little gold tone brooch, faux pearl. A little bit of light scratching on the faux pearl. Uh, Three dollars. Silver tone brooch. I was pretty sure this one, oh, maybe not. It is marked. Oh, I'm pretty sure this one wasn't sterling, but it looks like it, it has sterling feels. Uh, three dollars. Um, I have some earrings. Okay, post faux pearl and enamel earrings. Pretty, pretty. Uh, is that glue residue? No, it's fine. Signed? Not signed. Three bucks. Okay, I have this pair of earrings. We're doing a lot of earrings. Don't worry, there's other stuff. <laughs> uh, that's just what fell out of the bag so far. Okay, that's a little bent. This is Napier, gold tone, post earrings, and white acrylic, $3. You have to bend your post a little bit. And I have new on the card, Kenneth Cole, New York 
Gold tone earrings. Ooh, you can see me. Woo, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, new on the card, uh, $3. Uh, I have an illusion necklace. Oh, it didn't get tangled. I can't believe it. An illusion necklace. It is acrylic, black and red, um, black tone hardware there. And some of the red has iridescence on it. So $3 on that one. That was brave of me to throw that in there. <laughs> Um, silver tone, Alex and Ani style bracelet, key and key to my heart. Love this life might be the brand. And that might be a stone, like a quartz or something. Let's see. How are you? Okay, can you stop going away from me? I really need you. It is. It's Jadeite, guys. Jadeite. $3. A uh, little bit of copper right there. Okay, $2. $2. I have these earrings. They are screwbacks. Um, they might be bone, I'm not sure, or resin. And that might tell you the brand, but I don't know what it is. So those are going to be $3. Next, I have gold tone earrings. And they are clips. They are look to be in perfect condition and have some red enameling. Three dollars. And this brooch was this sterling, you guys. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. Okay, here it is. Faux marcasite and some black enamel. Three dollars. Let me put this to the side, my friends. We go yo uh, my chair is doing its clanging or whatever the heck it is gold tone clip earrings kind of button style three dollars next I have a bookmark has some acrylic beads and a butterfly little bookmark three bucks okay that's a single earring this is a little ring. I wasn't sure if this was sterling either. Um, there it is. There it is. Are they diamonds? Because if it's sterling, they could be diamonds. No, I think they're CZs. Size seven and a quarter. Whoa, seven and a quarter. Is there any? Oh, it's not, it's not sterling. See right there? Tiny bit of copper. That's probably from where I tested it last time. <laughs> uh, three bucks. <laughs> Uh, gold tone necklace with a little piece of lace. Oh, I cut, I sliced my finger on aluminum foil, you guys. Like paper cut it, but foil cut it. <laughs> I'm like, ow. Okay, rope chain. Um, there we go. Let's do three dollars. I'm not one to put band aids on very often, but it wouldn't stop bleeding and was trying to cook. I'm like, this is not good. Okay, so these are like a mixed metal. They are not sterling. I think these would shine up, you guys. I don't think it's necessarily wear. Uh, they are posts. They trick me for sterling. I've tested these three times, I think. They aren't. I remember. <laughs> $3. And I have some copper tone earrings. Oh, little beads with a paw print. So the earring itself, the hook is copper. Those are brass. Okay, three bucks. Okay, you guys, I've had two people send in doggy donation jewelry in the last week. Thank you very much, both of you. That was so sweet. Um, we'll be looking at it soon. Okay, this is a little bent. You're gonna have to bend that back. Gold tone, post style, faux pearl. They are nice condition besides the post. Well, but the post needing bending. $3. Okay, we have these earrings. These are signed. Is that Avon? It looks like Avon, I think. Yes, Avon, gold tone, and faux pearl. Very pretty. Three bucks. Hold on. 
missing stones. Hold on. <laughs> yes, missing rhinestones, one on each is missing. So one dollar. Okay, copper uh, uh, brooch. <laughs> Or it might be something that you hold your glasses with. You put your glasses through this, like this. A glasses keeper, okay? Oh, my glasses are dirty. Um, so uh, there we go. This is, um, I think technically it was supposed to be this way, but you definitely could use it as a glasses keeper, okay? $3, oh man, I touched my lens. Now I can't see. Okay, I think we're okay. Okay. I have this one. So this is leather and silver tone, a whole bunch of beads. There is glass in here, uh, glass beads. They might all be. Um, the leather's slightly beat up, just so you know. Silver tone. The silver tone's not super shiny. It's kind of oxidized, just so you know that too. Let's just do uh, two bucks on that one. And I have some post earrings. They look like they are copper tone. There we go. And it looks like we're missing a rhinestone right here. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. Okay. Oh, right there. Okay. These are one dollar. <laughs> Okay, gold tone music brooch. There's something going on right there. Let's just make that one dollar. I have this stick pin. It's a star with a little rhinestone. It is bent, unless it's supposed to be like that. I don't think so. Um, let's just do two bucks on that one. Okay, next. I have a silver tone butterfly brooch in good shape, $3. I have this ring here, little rhinestones in it, little channel setting. Very light wear on this one, eight and a quarter, $3. It'd be good for stacking. Uh, this one is like a tin heart brooch, uh, $3. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Okay, we've got this. These are brass tone post style earrings, $3. Okay, let's see, silver tone, little rhinestone press, press closure bracelet. Size seven and a quarter, three bucks. All right, what have we got? I don't feel like opening bags anymore. So you guys stay here. I'm getting stuff without bags. I'm sick of the bags. And here we go. We got this little slice of dyed wood and silver tone. Um, little pendant. $3. Okay, what is this? We have an acrylic bead necklace. Um, I think those are brass tone. Might have been gold tone, but they look brassy. $3. I have a gold tone heart brooch. I always have to stop and close them because I will regret it later. $3. You'll hear me screaming in Timbuktu. <laughs> just kidding I'm gonna move these over so they're not so much there's not so much glare on there copper and brass tone ring that's patina not uh vertigree and it is adjustable and right now it's sitting at uh eight and three quarter I'd say three dollars three dollars okay gold tone earrings these are in perfect condition. Um, just the, there's a little bit of puddling of the gold tone, but they were made that way. Aren't they pretty? I think they're just pretty to look at. <laughs> $3. Uh, 
what is this? Acrylic necklace. It is black, silver tone, and um, gray. Okay. $3. Silver tone little brooch. This one is probably Sarah Cove. Yep, Sarah Cove. Three bucks. Guys, I'm going to do something today. If you buy 10 pieces today, I'll do your 11th piece for free. Okay, so 10, you get one free. Um, this is like an antique silver tone with all these little turquoise color beads. Rolo chain, kind of a bib style, $3. At the end of the video, I'll talk about a giveaway too. So don't, don't disappear if you haven't heard about it. Okay, silver tone, rhinestone. Um, looks to be in pretty good shape. I mean, you can tell it's vintage, but it looks to be in pretty good shape. Is there really a rhinestone in there? And there? Yeah, there are. They're there. $3. I've got this guy. Reminds me of Leah Sophia. I said that last time. Um, it is like brass tone with all these little dangles and acrylic and black leather. And that one's $3. Okay. Next. Acrylic and gold tone necklace. There's silver tone back here at the neck. Um, that one looks a little brassy. Let's just do a dollar on that one. One dollar. I've got another acrylic necklace. This one is rose gold tone. There's wear on the clasp. Almost always wear from behind the neck, right? Especially with perfume wearers. Three dollars, which I am. So all of my jewelry looks like that. <laughs> okay, single earring. Gold tone um, enamel brooch. Looks to be in good shape, $3. Gold tone butterfly enamel brooch. And then down here, probably something to do with, to do with Christianity. It looks like a crown and a cross, uh, $3. Um, I got this little mess. Let's see if we can get it undone quickly. If not, we'll quit. Oh, I have this fun silver tone ring. It has the hinge on it. Uh, it's adjustable. $3. Okay, that is a single earring. I have this little itty bitty tiger's eye gold tone ring. It's tiny. It's like a four and a quarter or something. No, it's a three. Size three. $3. Good for midi, guys. Think midis. Um, I have these silver tone rhinestone clip earrings. Okay, three bucks. I have this ring right here. I guess it could be a uh, sterling, I'm not sure. Uh, good little stacker ring, size seven and three quarter, three bucks. Okay, let's see if I can get this untangled quickly. Can we, can we, can we, can we? No wasting time. Gold tone hook style earrings. Looks like the hooks are kind of silver tone. Three bucks. Um, I like this necklace. I think it's so pretty. I remember it. Okay, so we've got an earring in here. Let's see, I'm gonna give this two more minutes, guys, and then I will move on, okay? Uh, an earring there. I really should undo clasps. This is multi-strand necklace. Why did I do this? Every time I do this, I'm like, why did I do this? Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, I've got this. Little stretchy um, beaded necklace. Let's just do two bucks on that. Oh, hold on. Yeah. I thought that might have been strawberry quartz, but I don't think so. Uh, 
got a little bunny tack pin. Three dollars. Remember, buy ten pieces and you can pick your eleventh piece for free. Um, I believe this is faux leather. It's um, a lariat. Bolo. There we go. Bolo. Okay. And that's dyed uh, howlite. Three dollars. Silvertone, little collar necklace, looks to be in great shape, $3. Okay, I finished the dark, the big, um, big section bin. Hold on one second, the soft one. What time is it? Okay, yep, we'll go for another 10 minutes. I've got this big collar necklace, and that's fun. It's not really a collar necklace. These are like a gunmetal tone, or no, I'd say antique silver tone. The clasp is slightly wonky. It's fun, AB finish, it's a pretty color, $3. I have this purpley one, faux pearl gold tone, it's a longer one, acrylic purple beads, $3. Okay, silver tone little brooch, $3, antique silver tone. Looks to be in perfect shape. I have this gold tone ring. There's some wear right there. There's a little bit of copper. Well, yeah, there's a little bit of copper showing through right there. Um, and on the back, a tiny bit. Let's see. Let's go, um, not let's go. This is a six and three quarter, and I will do this one for just a dollar. Uh, gold tone and acrylic necklace with this little tassel. And who are you? Charming Charlie. Looks to be in good shape. Three bucks. Okay, a brass tone. If I remember, this wasn't in the greatest shape. So this is going to be a dollar. Uh, these are little acrylic beads. This one's not in the greatest shape. Neither is this one. Okay, so one dollar. Uh, oh nope, that's the mess. I'm not I'm not messing with the mess. Okay, this is sterling silver. It is a crucifix. It probably came off a cross or some kind of piece of jewelry. Three bucks. Okay. Tack pin. Little heart, brushed gold tone, $3. We've got silver tone and faux turquoise, little um, pendant and necklace, $3. Gold tone mom tack pin. It looks like she had something hanging right there and it's missing, so $1. This one, these are like resin and hmm, the green might be a stone. No, glass and um, those are probably glass also or ceramic. Okay, little necklace. These are silver tone, these are gold tone. And I think they're, yep, they're all like that. So it must be how it was, three bucks. I have some earrings. They say love. Antique silver tone hooks, three bucks. Okay, next we have a faux pearl. This, These are nice faux pearls, you guys. I would say best on the good, better, best faux pearl scale. Uh, $3, it's a little stretch bracelet. I have this giant pendant. This is so fun. Think repurposing, guys. I'm surprised Mama didn't ask for this to go on a journal. I'm surprised. <laughs> $3. And I have this one. I don't know what this is, guys. It feels like ceramic, okay? And copper tone, it says chili, and it's signed, and then it's on a copper and brass tone dash necklace. Three bucks. So it feels like um, ceramic, but I also keep feeling like lava beads too. 
um, lava stone. That's what I'm trying to say. There we go. Gold tone, little tassel earrings on hooks. $3. Silver tone. Uh, there it is, this big chunky necklace. This is Express. Uh, there is a little bit of light wear on this, okay? So um, let's just do $2 on it. I have this gold tone bracelet, uh, $3. I don't want to open bags. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm not doing it. I'll open this one because it's sterling. <laughs> um, it is a 2002 sterling charm. Three bucks. Okay, let's get some non-bag stuff. Okay, I'm filming a little late, so I have to stay at 45 minutes. So that means we have like five minutes. Okay, this would be a fun little... Look at that. It's kind of fun, huh? Okay, brass tone bangle. I know it is brass, not tone. Brass, it's an eight, three dollars, hammered finish. This one is brass and copper. This one is a seven and a half, three dollars. This one is brass and copper, and it's a cuff. It's a size, I'd say seven and a quarter, okay? Eek, three dollars. Um, acrylic beaded necklace with some marbling in the beads. Cute. And gold tone. Okay, $3. I have this copper tone and silver tone necklace snake chain with this really fun, like, um, they're like pennants or upside down spikes. And it looks to be in pretty good shape. $3. Oh, Zeusy's crying. I hear a Zeusy crying. Oh, no. Yeah, because it's past their dinner time. Oops. I, I'll be right down. Three minutes. Okay, black uh, necklace. Looks like lace, but it's metal. Three dollars. Um, a little bit of the black missing there and there. And some there. Okay, let's just make it a dollar. Uh, do I have anything else that's not in a bag? No. Alrighty. This one is rose gold tone and like an orangey color stone. Not stone, it's probably just plastic. Acrylic, size six and three quarter, $3. Guys, one second, I'm gonna get another bin because, oh, I don't have one. Okay, we'll just keep going in this one. That's okay. Silver tone and black acrylic. I see some issues with this right there. Um, I thought I saw another spot too. It's New York, just gonna be $1. All right, we're gonna finish. I have 12 spots left. Acrylic, like faux amber ring. This one is a size seven, seven and a half, three dollars. This is a gunmetal tone ring with red rhinestones. This one is a size eight and a half. Okay, three dollars. I have that's a single earring, gold tone, little uh, brooch. And that one's going to be $3. I'll leave this um, jewelry aside, guys, because we're not going to finish it. And um, if we ever finish a day early, we'll go back and do a different dollar amount. This is brass tone. It's like wire wrapping. It's adjustable by bending. Um, and some dyed halite. $3. Sorry, I'm having a hard time seeing where I can... What's the next pocket open on the bin? Silver tone, little Thunderbird earrings, $3. 
gold tone ring with rhinestones. A little bit of copper showing on the back. Uh, size nine. Three bucks. I've got this one, silver tone and a purple little rhinestone. Size eight. Three dollars. I've got this little silver tone brooch. It's like a wreath style. Three dollars. Oh, this chair. Uh, a jewelry ring. I put this one in three dollars instead of two because I bought this specifically by itself for this. So um, it has a little bit of wear, but it's an incredible vintage earring. Uh, it is on an adjustable gold tone ring blank. Three dollars. Uh, gold tone little brooch. This looks like sterling. Ha, huh, sterling. I really think so. I think it is. Sterling necklace, I think. I'm saying it's not actually. It's not sterling, but it really is. <laughs> $3. It really probably is. Gold tone leaf brooch, $3. And last piece, gold tone brooch. Kind of looks like a pine cone. Three bucks. All right, you guys, let's talk about the giveaway. So for the 12 days of Christmas, I am doing a giveaway. So what we are going to do is on um, the first video back after the 12 days of Christmas, I'm going to do an Amber sale and we will do this giveaway. Okay. So um, I did send out a little mass email to tell you what the schedule looked like. If you're not on my email list, if you've never bought anything before, but you would like to um, have an idea of what's going on, you can definitely ask me to email you so you know what's coming up on the channel. Um, and I can add you to my email list. So here's what it is. It is, it's hard to show you, it is a Kate Spade cross body. Maybe I'll try to make a little short about it so you can see it. It has been in one of my purse videos. Kate Spade cross body and um, it is stuffed with jewelry. Not right now, but it's going to be. Stuffed with jewelry is my giveaway, okay? And um, the way you enter is first you're subscribed and second, you comment on all of the 12 days of Christmas videos. There is not a first day of Christmas. I made a mistake. So videos from the second day of Christmas through the 12th, leave a comment, make sure you're subscribed, and I will pull a winner. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. I'm thankful for all of you. <laughs> Bye.